Hey guys, I'm Rachel. For those of you who don't know me, for those of you who are subscribers, thank you. Welcome back. Um, if you're not subscribed yet, go ahead, do that. I, you know, come hang out. It, it's, it's nice. Today I have a September trunk club unboxing and try on. If you like what you see and you want to try out my stylus, I'm going to leave my referral link down below so that you can click that sign up and use her, I guess. I'm going to try everything on. I'm going to tell you the prices. I'm going to link everything. Let's do it. Why am I so inept at this? Every time. Look at some baggies. Oh, that's kind of a fun texture. Texture and thread made well. This is the Texture and Thread Clip Dot Ruffle Top in the color Smoky Spruce uh, from Madewell. It's $49.50. Oh, that's really nice, actually. If you can see the texture on this, it's so nice. This is actually really, really soft, and then the collar is elasticized, and the sleeves are as well. It looks like kind of a three-quarter sleeve situation. Nope, that's short sleeves. Just a little bit wider of a top. I like this one. I'm just not really obsessed with it. This one I really like the color of. I actually, I didn't think I was going to love the collar, but it's kind of cute, that little bit of a higher collar. It's almost like stuff is so low cut all the time and coming out of summer, it kind of feels nice to be a little bit more buttoned up. The thing I'm not sold on with this shirt is the sleeves. First, it was like a little too like flouncy, you know? And then the elastic, I'm not sure if that would just irritate me throughout the day being kind of tight. Ooh, that is so soft. This is from Halogen. It's the Bateau neck sweater in heather gray and it's $49. Oh, it's really soft, just very simple gray sweater. I love the bateau neck though. And really nice actually, just a simple sweater. What type of a material is this? Pima cotton, machine wash, coal, jet cycle. Yeah, that's nice. That's really, really nice. I really like this sweater. It is so simple and just it's cut really well. I love the bateau neck. I think that that complete opposite of the gray shirt does show a little bit more, but it's not such a wide one that you have to worry about like pulling down your bra straps at all. It's really soft. It honestly feels like cashmere and it's cotton. So I'm always into stuff feeling more expensive than it is. Let me know if you think, is it worth doing $50? I don't know. It's super cute. We're just gonna have Belle popping up behind me. We're getting ready to go to a brew jam. Clearly she needs some help with the hair. Hi, sweetie. Oh god, just get everyone to know. Welcome, fam. Yes, another texture and thread. Hmm, what is that? I've never heard of this texture and thread thing from Madewell. Oh, that's interesting. It says texture and thread flounce. Yeah, flounce sleeve tee and ivory, and it's $49.50. Madewell again. It's, um, the entire thing is stretchy. I think you can see the texture of that. It's nice, it's just, it feels a little weird with the entire thing being stretchy. It's polyester, which I'm not a huge polyester fan. I mean, is anyone, is anyone like, oh my God, polyester? I love polyester. I don't know how see-through this would be if it's gonna need a tank underneath. And it's, I mean, it's interesting that the whole thing Kind of bouncy like that. I love this shirt. It figures that I would love ivory and I have two messy kids and two messy dogs and I love you honey, a messy husband. The stretch on it isn't weird, it's just super cozy. I feel like this shirt actually and the green one, which are both the Madewell texture and thread, they're both cut like 
a not cropped, but cut more at the hip bone where I feel like is a little bit shorter than shirts have tended to be in the past. And I really like it. I really like the sleeves on it. Just holding in your hands doesn't seem like the sleeves are going to be anything that special, but they are. They're so sweet. Just a little bit of the flutter. So it's a little bit girly, but not too much. This sounds weird. It has a detachable collar. I've never done a detachable collar. Ooh. Weird. Um, it's the detachable collar sweater. That's literally the name from 1901 and it is $69. I mean, it's actually kind of cute. I don't know. Actually not not a fan of that collar, but the navy sweater is cute, but $69. I mean, I guess that's pretty reasonable for a sweater. Sweaters are expensive, right? Um yeah, I hate the collar. The collar just like, it looks like a clown collar. I'm not into that color combo. I'm not into the polka dots. It was just like a little too goofy. Not my style. Um, the sweater itself, I like a lot. Um, but not as, it's actually super similar to that gray sweater. It's just a nice sweater. Um, but I'm not into the collar and I feel like it's pricier because of the whole like pop on collar thing. And I would honestly never wear it with the collar. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's fine. It just, yeah, that collar is really, I'm not clowning around. No, no, no. Uh, ribbed V-neck top from Treasure and Bond in Burgundy and it's $39. Um, this is a size small. It seems enormous. Like, doesn't that just seem really, really large? I was gonna say like $39 from Treasure and Bond, that sounds pretty good. But it's just a rib that, I mean, it's just a simple long sleeve shirt. I feel like this would look good maybe over leggings because it's a little bit longer, but I'm not gonna wear like leggings to work and I feel like I have a million dumpier looking things to go with that. So weird. This like ribbed neck one, ribbed long sleeve shirt is honestly exactly what I expected. It just feels frumpy. Um, it's really, really loose on top. So like it dipped way down low. It's definitely not the type of thing that I could wear around kids because they're gonna like tug it down and show everything. Um, it was a little long, but not long enough to be tunicky and are you walking on my bed in cowgirl boots? Yeah. Girl. Um, so just, mm, nah. hmm, that's insanely wrinkled. Butter sleeve top in navy from Halogen. It's $49. This is so see-through. I guess you would just wear like a tank under it. This one, weirdly, was not as see-through as I thought it was going to be. Um, unless you're watching this right now and there's a big old blur on the screen because I saw it back and was like, oh, hell no, you can see through my shirt. Um, so I expected it to be more see-through. Kind of weird. It wasn't. You're watching blurs right now, aren't you? Um, I don't know about the shape of it. I do kind of like the sleeves though and where they were hitting on my shoulder. I thought that was really cute. Houndstooth. So I bought a houndstooth shirt a few months ago. Maybe I'll pair it with these pants, make like a houndstooth suit. Yeah, these are houndstooth pants, not loving it. Houndstooth ankle pants from Vince Camuto and they're $99. No. I mean, I'm sure they're going to be, you know, cute enough, something I might wear once, but they look just like pretty much dress pants and I don't really dress up for work. It's business casual, heavy on the casual. Um, so, and also I feel like with houndstooth, that's something 
that you can't really get away with repeating that much because it's kind of a, you know, big pattern. I'm just into houndstooth. These pants, I, um, I like them a whole lot more than I thought I was going to. They are really nice. Um, I thought they were going to be boot cut and they aren't. They're just this really nice straight leg. They fit, the length was perfect on me. They fit through my hips perfectly. The thing that kills me with my sizing, I mention this in every single video, I have big hips compared to my waist. And so these fit really good with my hips, but then on my waist, they just left too much room in back. So that's a shame because I do kind of like them. So originally she put a pair of jeans in that I love, just like a straight leg pair, but they had tears in them and were kind of distressed. And I really want jeans that I can wear to work. I feel like all of the jeans that I own right now are jeggings and I'm kind of over jeggings. I put them on yesterday and I was like, these look like they're painted onto me. It is not comfortable. Just over it. I just want some nice straight legs. You yeah, know, they can be skinny, but not jeggings. Uh, so I asked her, hey, can you give me something similar, but not make them distressed so that I can rock it at work. Um, so she sent me these cut from the cloth, which I really like cut from the cloth. And they are the Catherine Boyfriend jeans. And they're $89.50. Kind of pricey. Size four, they look a little, a little large. Um, but they're nice. I like this wash a lot. The wash is called Cozy. Uh, and then they just are kind of cuffed at the bottom. You know, boyfriend jean thing. Those are nice. I do like those. 89 is like kind of up there because I am cheap AF. But if, you know, they have like that darker wash, I feel like if I can justify it and really love them, then we can do it. If I'm on the fence about it, then I'm not paying $89. I know jeans are expensive. I know. I'm just cheap, okay? Funny that I get trunk club and I'm like, I don't like spending money. Didn't love them. Had a similar problem with the jeans that I did with the houndstooth pants, just that they fit really well through my hips and then the waist was a little bit too wide on them. And so these, the pockets were kind of shallow on them. They just were more of a mid-rise and I definitely like high-rise pants. Um, yeah, so they were, they were fine though. Just nothing I'm super obsessed with and that I'm ready to drop $89 on. Okay, then we got this little number, which is, I wasn't sure about it. I wasn't loving it in the photos, but I said, you know what? I'm gonna be open to just trying it. Send it on over. Ooh, it is soft. Nylon, polyester, acrylic, wool. All right, it's just like a little, you know, you know what, this is so similar to if you saw my Amazon fall haul, which if you haven't seen it, go check it out and then come back here. Um, it's just like one of those blanket things that you wrap up on yourself. Again, from the photo, I did this exact same thing with the like plaid one that I got from Amazon where in the photo, it looks like it had short sleeves and it, it doesn't have sleeves, it's just someone was wearing it like that. Thanks for going out of focus, camera. I'm happy I had her keep in because it's kind of cute. It's more of a dressy one. The one that I got from Amazon is like straight up a thick plaid blanket, but this is more of a neutral deal. Just saw the price tag at $79. What? It's really cozy. Easy travel. Ruana? Is that a word? Is it a Ruana? I don't, I don't know. It's in beige and it's $79. Oh, it's from, oh, it's, I did not know Nordstrom had a brand. I mean, I am kind of into it though. Hmm. 
Yeah. <laughs> this number. I don't know. These parts that like come down felt a little bit thin, so it almost looked a little silly just draping down in front. But I am, I kind of love the outfit of this with the dark wash jeans and the ivory shirt. I love how this looks. This is really cozy. It is really soft. If I had a ton of money and trunk club credits, I'd probably be keeping it. But I just don't know if I can justify. It's nice though. I love the neutral color. If you're in the market for one of these, it's nice. I don't know it's like a blanket and I feel like blankets are cheaper and then we have a skirt so it is the come as you are plaid mini skirt from band of gypsies and it's $89 so that's another one that's kind of pricey but look how cute that is sorry it kind of looks like a kilt but I'm I'm excited to try that one out this skirt in my head it looked really nice and it did it um just not my thing at all um it made me look wide it made me look really wide wasn't loving the length of it and the thing that really got me with this skirt is how the plaid is um, it just drooped down like this on either side right at the hips it had this awful widening effect so no and then last clothing item is a dress it's the long sleeve thermal stitch sweater dress from Caslon and it's $59 Oh, it is. It looks more like a sweater dress material, but this, it's a thermal. That's kind of fun. It's really comfy, actually. Pretty stretchy. It just looks kind of enormous. This dress. <laughs> it was, it was a bit large for a size small. Kind of clung to some weird places. I feel like it would have worked better as a long sweater than a dress if that makes sense like if this had been I have it inside out if this had been more of like a tunicky thing you know cut like here and I could wear it with leggings I would totally be keeping it because it was really comfy just the sleeves had that perfect amount of they were thick, but they still had stretch, so it still felt like I could move in it. I just didn't love everything from, like, the thighs down. Um, but if they make sweaters in this material, in this upper cut, maybe I'll look into that. And then, we have a pair of shoes. And these, I... Said I wanted to try some mules. I don't own any mules. So she sent some Madewell mules. They are the Remy Mule in black and they're $88. I've actually never tried Madewell shoes before. Shoe packaging drives me crazy. There is so much. Okay, they smell good. Pretty nice. Um, a mule, you know? I think I'm kind of into them. Serious question, can anybody walk in mules? These, I just, my, my toes didn't know what to cling on to to move. Every time I tried to take a step, my foot flew out of them. I think I'm gonna keep trying mules though. Not these ones because I don't know about the black. I think I'd be more into like a cognac color. So that was everything. I really liked this trunk. I There's a few items that I'm still on the fence about, mostly that green top and the gray sweater. Definitely keeping the ivory top. I think 
Unless I really like the other stuff too. Ugh, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on everything below. Help me make this decision. Trying to spend under like $100. $150. If you can pick two items from this trunk, let me know which two because that's basically what I'm going to be doing. Help me decide, please. Um, yeah, this was really fun. I really liked this trunk. If you liked what was in this trunk too, want to try out Trunk Club with Azure, go click my link down below. I need to go um, get my drink on now with this brew jam. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.